All right. So hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Kevin Dangor. Welcome to the Sprint 19 review. I'm new here. If you haven't heard me before, that's why. Um, so uh, in Sprint 19, we were working, um, the two big things we were working on were native menus and Code Mirror uh, 3 integration, making some progress on that. Uh, and we will show those things off. But first, uh, we'll start with Peter Flynn showing off some of the community contributions. Yeah, well, I'm actually not going to demo them. We're going to have a demo of, of a really cool community contribution uh, a little bit later, but I just wanted to share some kind of introductory uh, stats and, and fun numbers first. So for Sprint 18, which uh, since the last time we reviewed it, Sprint 18 is now uh, sort of sunsetting, we had 23,424 downloads, which is the second highest number of downloads that any Brackets build has ever had, second only to when we uh, initially made our big announcement at Google I.O. last year. So uh, that's a pretty successful build, I think. Um, we now have 50 extensions available as of the end of the Sprint 18 build, um, including seven new ones that were added since that build originally came out. So I think that's pretty cool. And uh, in Sprint 19, which is the one we just wrapped up and are about to release, we had 318 commits and a whopping 67 bug fixes, which is, I think, roughly double the last Sprint's number. Um, <coughs> We also had 18 external contributions to Sprint, which is a little on the low side. We had uh, 13 different contributors involved, which is a pretty good, exciting number. Uh, and we added uh, two new translations, thanks to the community, Swedish and Portuguese, which brings the total number of languages up to 12, I think. Um, and then I just wanted to show a quick graph showing the, uh, the sort of trends here over time, which I think is, uh, is, is pretty awesome. So the number of extensions is, is really picking up, and uh, the number of downloads, you can see the big spike from um, Google I.O., but you can see the trend for the last few builds is, uh, is really positive. Yeah. So uh, that's it for me, and uh, we'll turn it over to the more exciting stuff, which is actual demos. So we'll start with Raymond, uh, if you're ready, showing off the sure. overall UI. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to share my screen. So on the left is the new uh, Spring 19 build. On the right is the uh, Spring 18 build. So as you can see uh, quickly, then uh, we are moving to the native menu. So you see the menu bar on top uh, for the Spring 19 build. On, on Spring 18, you have that HTML menu, and you also have that native menu. So it's kind of a confusing native menu, only have one item. And if you open up the another uh, bracket window on the Spring 18, you get another, you get a different menu item right here. Uh, and Spring 18 HTML menu, you need to have two clicks in order to, uh, to, to invoke one command. With the native menu, you don't have to do that. You can, uh, you like to do the uh, mouse down and drag on the items, like SA, you, oh no, not this one. Uh, say mouse down, you want to do the indent, or something. mouse up, it will do that. Uh, oh, I, I'm on the wrong, wrong line. Something like this, like you go mouse down and mouse up on indent. Yeah, you can see indent. And you can uh, also you can load, you can head that state uh, check and check. We change the state, and we have new item for the uh, GSLint error. Once you uncheck this one, get disabled also. So we we also update the state in the native menu. So let's go to this page. This page has that uh, GSLint. So if I enable it, you see the JS link. And then you go to the, uh, we go to the navigate menu. We have a new item, go, go to first JS link error. So you click that one, the focus could go to that JS link pan panel. And also in this screen, we, we uh, did extra work by adding more menu item like the undo, re redo, cut, copy, and paste. So now if you, Cut, copy, and paste not just working in that editor. It also works in the any uh, input text field, like the fine text field or something. For example, right now I do the copy right here, and I do the cut. It works right here, right? 
And now I'm going to work on that uh, find. If I paste, it go in there. So if I can do this select all and then uh, cut. It works. Uh, so uh, I show you with that uh, undo right here. Yeah, undo go to the find text feed instead of the code editor. So besides the uh, besides the behavior and the new item, <coughs> what we also have is moving to the native menu, we also make the brackets accessible. So we make a big pro progress in the accessibility area. So now you uh, use user that has the keyboard accessibility need, need, they can just press the Alt key to move the focus to the, uh, to the menu. And then they can navigate the menu with the left arrow, right arrow, and then enter key to to drop down the menu. And then they can get get to any menu item. Even so, they don't really have to rely on the just shortcut. They can just rely on the Alt key to uh, to <laughs> navigate to the menu to invoke any any command. So, not only that, screen reader is also rely on the keyboard navigation. So once we make this uh, keyboard navigatable, then we also make the screen reader accessible. So that's a big step uh, in uh, to break its accessibility. Yeah, that's all for my demo. Okay, great. Um, and uh, Randy is up next if you want to show off um, right. code editing sharing. improvements. Oh, let me stop share. I was going to show uh, CSS code hints. So uh, this was a an external contribution by Andre Z. He's a um, university student. The uh, course he's taking, they required him to uh, make a contribution to any open source project of, of his choosing. So he he picked us. Good um, choice. <laughs> it's also an awesome class. Yeah. So. Um, and in an, another note is we, we changed the API in the middle of his project, and he, <laughs> he uh, updated it and, and stuck with it. So uh, we thank him for that. So um, <laughs> it's basic uh, code inning for uh, CSS2 properties and some of the common CSS3 ones. Um, so you can see as I'm, I'm typing, it's uh, getting the hints. And then the um, selected property, you get the values. And then um, so if you, you know, if you like to um, put all your uh, properties in a single line. You can do that, or you can uh, you can go down here, and uh, it will react while you uh, type in um, inner keys to put them on um, separate lines. So uh, it's, it's a good start. Um, there's definitely some things uh, we need to work on, but um, it uh, Basic uh, start for CSS code ending. Yeah, cool. Excellent. That's all for my demo. Okay. And then I'm next. Uh, let's see. Sharing screen desktop. Um, okay, so I I worked on some uh, improvements to some features that I personally use all the time, and I think a lot of people do. Um, quick open, go to definition. Uh, basically trying to improve um, the kind of responses you get. So this on the right here, I have Sprint 18. So we work quickly. Yep, that's Sprint 18 on the right here and Sprint 19 on the left. So I'll start with Sprint 18. So if I if I do a quick open here uh, and I type samples index, um, if you look at that first match, uh, it's kind of a funny match because the the matched characters are kind of all over the place in the string. Um, it's because of the way the old algorithm worked uh, that it decided that was the top pick. In the, in the new one, if I started off, you can see that, that match is still there. That top one that was previous is still there, but it's all the way at the bottom of the list because these other ones are better matches because they say samples actually as a full word uh, and index as a full word. Um, another example is if I type in commands. Uh, command manager is on top. Even though just a couple things down, there's actually a file called commands um, in the new You'll see that commands actually comes out on top. Uh, and there will be many cases like this. Uh, let's see, util. Um, 
So this brings up, so editor utils, that's a reasonable first match, but if you notice extension utils is kind of far down there, um, whereas extension utils is second in the, in the new one. Um, editor utils is also a fine match for that particular string. So you can never be perfect with this, but at least it's um, closer to reading your mind. If you type SRU, you might be wanting spec runner utils, um, but you'll see that's down at number six in this list. Um, but if I switch over to Sprint 19 and type SRU, spec runner utils is right on top because it, it figures that humans kind of key in on, on things like that, on, on breaks between there. Um, Very cool. So that's the, uh, and that applies not only to quick open, but to go to definition. So if you type, um, uh, well, a lot, of, a lot of these different, actually, here's my example for the algorithm here, update. Um, this is the Sprint 19. Now, if you notice, these all start with update. That very last one in Sprint 19 uh, is this maybe update line number width. Whereas in, uh, whoops, that's, um, is it a definition? In Sprint 18, um, that one comes out on top, which is not really what you'd want to come out on top. Um, the other thing that you may have noticed, and that's what I, one of the things I wanted to show off with go to definition is the, uh, the speed has gotten better. Um, and more importantly, the way it reacts, like it's possible, um, let's see if I can make it do it. Oh, okay, so I just typed in coord, uh, and it, it ended up putting me on build collapsed span, which doesn't contain coord at all, um, which uh, is a tricky bit of behavior uh, that Peter fixed, um, that if I type in coord real quick, uh, it, it actually got me a reasonable match um, and jumped straight to, straight to the right thing, and it was much quicker at doing so. Especially on a file like codemirror.js, which is pretty large, um, you tend to notice this. Um, one more thing I wanted to show off uh, is in, um, now I'm going to be using um, one of the codemirror v3 branch builds. Um, so if I go back to um, sprint 18, and I do a find, so let's say I find... Uh, or, or actually, I'll, go, I'll do a go to line to start with. So I'll go to line 1000. So you can see that the cursor is at the very bottom of the screen here. Um, <coughs> line 1000 is showing up at the very bottom of the window. Uh, and on the code mirror v3 branch now, which is now on my left here, if I type 1000, it's right in the middle of the window where you might, where you'd actually Ooh. expect to be able to see it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and the old one, if you type in chord, so you can see my matching <coughs> chord that I'm finding here is right there at the bottom of the window again. And if I go finding through, they're all at the bottom of the window, so you don't really get any of the context. Um, in the new Codemirror V3 branch, um, so I start searching for cord, you can see it's highlighting within there, but as soon as it goes off the screen, it starts uh, jumping to the center again. So you, you're mostly centered, but it doesn't center more often than it needs to. Um, so that is, that is coming as soon as we land uh, the rest of the Codemirror V3 changes. And I believe that is it for our demo. Anybody have any questions? Is there a thing in the Google Hangout where people can ask questions? Or? The audio didn't work. Oh, no. There was some audio problems, so it doesn't sound like many of them understood anything that happened. Uh, yeah, in, the, in the chat here. I don't know if you got it fixed, but a couple of people chatted me right off. Any questions there from the room? How about the Cutmere V3 changes and the because that in the branch looks clean off. We have a CMV3 branch that we're working on. Um, we're going to work on it more this sprint. I, I don't know. Are we hope to finish this, I think we, this sprint? I we, think it's, on, it's possible we'll finish it this sprint, this coming sprint. I think it's, we haven't done sprint planning yet for sprint 20, so um, we have yet to figure that out. But um, please, if not this sprint, certainly the next one. Please check out the branch and bang on it. We need, we yeah. need more. Yeah, I think I read <laughs> All three things? We're talking about in that branch, or uh, no? The quick open, open and go to definition improvements; those are actually in Sprint 19. It was just this last bit where the find was centering. Oh, got that's it. In the, that's in the code mirror branch. Mm -hmm. The rest is going on Sprint 19. How did you guys fix so many bugs? Did you have a lot more community contributions, or did you spend more time doing? It? We just spent more time. I think we actually had a slightly less community contributions, which yeah, is still good, fewer high, but just a little less than the sprint before. And it's also, uh, you know, that's just a total measure fix, so it's not like those were all bugs from that have been sitting around a while. I mean, some of them were bugs that came up and got closed in the same sprint, so they were never shipped publicly or anything. GitHub search is not really good enough to make it easy to figure out how many 
pre-existing bugs are fixed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, still, it's still a very high number. And, and part of that is that um, we, we knew that we are uh, facing a, a high number of medium and high priority bugs, and therefore we started out with a, with a lower velocity and um, knew that we had to spend some time on bug fixing. Yeah, we're, we're trying to keep medium bugs down to what, like 30 or something? 30? A so certain number, yeah. so, so we but chose we, to fix more. We have about 50. So. Yeah, the other thing we do is we have dedicated bug fix stories. We'll list all the ones that want to get fixed. Yeah. Has joined the conference. Well, the thing, the things you showed, right? Um, the the quick open. Yes, the and, the, and, and the fine yeah, things, the quick open all bugs. Oh, those were over -over it was right, exactly. The quick open fixes were. It probably turned out to be big enough that it could have been. Sure. A story. <laughs> it probably should have been a story. <laughs> yeah. Work through a little more, but. And all of our um, our release notes have a link that's really easy to find the bugs that were fixed in any given sprint. On something I neglected to point out also is that I'm on a Mac, and you can see that there are native menus on the Mac also. Yes. Um, they, are, they are right up there. And when you, if you notice, the, when I press Command F to find, you can see the edit menu blinking. Uh, that actually was supposed to be out of scope, but we got it. Yeah, and same thing with the cut, copy, paste, on your redo menu items. Those are all out of scope and got squeezed in. It's a little bonus. Go ahead and change languages, too. Debug? Right. Switch language? Switch language, yes. Go to something yeah, uh, German. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. In all the native menus. Oh. Cool. Except we haven't figured out uh, a keyboard layout yet. So it's not shortcuts might not be right. quite right. Oh, that's just a bug. <laughs> 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 Thank you for Thank attending. You. Sorry about the technical difficulty. <laughs>